we now know how to find the least squares solution of AX is B if the columns are, if A are orthogonal. Then we can compute B hat directly and solve AX equals B hat. If the columns of A are not orthogonal, it is usually faster to use the normal equations. In this video, we will apply the second method to find our best line through the data points we found earlier. So we had the following problem. A matrix A, factor B, containing the y values of the data points, over here containing x values of data points, and we wanted to find the least square solution of Ax equals B. So what are we going to do? We are going to use the normal equations. So we need A transpose times A times x hat equals A transpose times B. So we need A transpose times A, and we need A transpose times B. Over here we have A transpose times A. We compute the matrix product, for example the first element, inner product 1, 1, 1, 1, with 1, 1, 1, 1, equals 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, equals 4. And the term over here, inner product of this is that one, 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9, equals 14. So there we have our A transpose times A, A transpose times B. Again we have here A transpose, our vector B. So what do we get? 1 times 0, plus 1 times 2, plus 1 times 1, plus 1 times 4, 2 plus 1 plus 4 equals 7. Second term, 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 12 equals 2 plus 2 plus 12 equals 16. So there we have A transpose times A and A transpose times B. And then we want to solve A transpose times A times x hat equals A transpose times B. We have the A transpose A and the A transpose B already computed, and we want to find x hat. So what can you do? You can use row reduction, but in this case, since we have a 2 by 2 matrix, we can also use the inverse matrix. So if x hat equals, interchange those two, put minus signs over here, and divide by the determinant, A inverse times A transpose times B, and we find, we compute this product over here, 2 and 22, Divide by 20, we get a 0.1 and a 1.1. So there we have found our least squares solution. Well, we also want to compute our least squares error. We want to know how good our solution is. For that, we need b hat. And the other method, we had b hat immediately, but now we have to compute it. Well, that's no problem, because we have x hat, and b hat equals a times x hat. So we have the a times x hat. We compute the product of the two, we get 0 0.1, 1.2, 2.3, and 3.4. That's ours b hat. Our z containing the errors is the difference from b and b hat. So we compute z minus 0 0.1, 0 0.8, minus 0 0.3, and 0.6. And then we, then we can compute the least squares error, which is just the length of z. Well, that's not a nice number, but it happens to be the square root of 2.7. So now we can find our least square solution even if the columns of A are not nicely orthogonal.